Um, What's your favorite memory that you have of the river here? Do you have one? Well, you know, when we were kids, uh, we used to go down to the uh, river and you could, when the Uligans come up, and we used to be able to go down there and uh, pluck them right out of the river. Really? Yeah. Just with your hands? Like, yeah, you could grab them, yeah. Just reach in and grab them. They were just on the top, yeah. And then when, later on, you could buy a box of, uh, uh, for 25 cents a shoe box. Well, they, were, they were really delicious. In fact, we had some up until about five years ago. We had a fellow, that, a fisherman down here, they used to fish for them. But the last three or four years, there hasn't been any around. Disappeared. We all used to fish hooligans too. Yeah, you know what hooligans are? Okay, hooligans are, um, they're about six to eight inches long. Males are larger than females. And there's only about three rivers in the world that they come in. Well, probably more. One is the Fraser River, one is the Columbia, and the Skeena, I believe, is one where they have them. But the Ulicans are a small little fish that, that come in and spawn on the, on the banks, right? And uh, when we were kids, my mom wanted to spawn out ones for the garden. So I, my job was to go down along the beach, pick up all the spawned Ulicans, and she would bury them under her roses. We actually, here's a, here's a quirky one that, that just has disappeared. We had an Ulican festival. We had an Ulican festival. I think we had it for a couple of, of uh, years. We actually had things where we had the restaurants cook Ulicans in different ways. I yeah. had the dubious honor of being one of the tasters. But it didn't work because the Ulicans don't go on a nice schedule that fits uh, the, the commercial businesses. So it didn't work. It was very popular while it was there, but you could never really plan it because it would change. First Nations knew this. I mean, it would change with the mood and it would change with the water levels and the temperature. And now I don't know what we have in terms of Ulican. We used to go down and catch hooligans. Uh, we don't, can't do that anymore, but we used to go down and catch hooligans by the bucket holes. Because they'd come into the river spawning, and we'd go down and you could literally throw your bucket out in the river when they were spawning and bring in buckets of hooligans. What happened to them? It, it, it use of uh, people uh, like overfish, basically. Yeah, overfish. Climate changes, overfishing. Uh, disappeared, but we oh, hooligan feast was that was those were special days. They were my father would would um, bake them up, and you didn't clean them. You just baked them up, and uh, you put them in a deep fryer. Roll them a little bit of flour, put them in the deep fryer. Fabulous, fabulous. Yes. A lot of things have gone by the wayside. Um, progress is progress. It's, it's what, what happens. I mean, uh, I, I'm, I'm in, I enjoy this because to me this is a huge memory. This is, um, this is a part of my history growing up in the city of New Westminster. Mm -hmm.